Hey guys, thanks for checking out this video. Today I'm going to show you a DIY project uh, for rebuilding or replacing a uh, boosted board battery pack. Uh, I'm using 18650 cells, uh, building a, uh, a uh, 4P10S battery pack, which should um, boost this mileage from, um, you know, typical 7 to 15 mile range to over 30 miles per charge. The first thing you need is a battery enclosure. I got mine off of eBay. It's a DIY E uh, enclosure. Here are the specs for it. These are the 18650 cells I use. These test out at an average 32 milliamp hours. I'll be building a, um, a 10S 4P battery pack with these cells. I savage these cells from uh, ring battery packs. Um, they look something like uh, this. And these are uh, purchased off of eBay for about a dollar fifty per pack for two cells. So this is how I wire my balance lead. I start with the black wire. It goes through the negative post. And then the next red wire goes to the second cell and the third wire goes to the third cell etc etc here's what the battery pack looks like um, after I solder um, each of the uh, the packs I decided to build two um, 5s packs and then connect it into um, series to make a 10s pack so what you look at here is um, uh, four individual cells um, um, uh, hooked up parallel together and then each of the individual four cells are then connected in series just like that um, to make a 5s package so i have two of these and the other is 5s which i didn't uh, have these tabs which uh, will allow me to connect it into series to create a, um, a 10S uh, battery pack. That's a negative post and then a positive post right there where you connect the wires. So after I wire the uh, balance uh, leads, I want to protect the connections using a, um, a fireproof paper and I cover that all over the um, the connections um, so that they don't short out accidentally. Um, I do that before I put Kefalon tape all over it. So after I uh, solder the um, balance lead, I uh, wrap all the um, packs in um, Teflon tape. And now I'm aligning the two uh, packs together to make a 10S package. And these are the tabs that I need to solder. Um, I want to make sure that I add flux to it and then tin it with uh, solder before I attempt it to um, solder uh, them together. Now I want to apply solder to the tip before I burn the uh, the connections in. And you see that that melts the uh, solder uh, easy, and uh, provides a nice solder joint. Now that I soldered the two uh, 5S packages together, it's now a 10S packet. I need to wrap this in Kevlon tape. And now we have a nice battery pack. Now it's time to add a BMS to the battery pack. This is an excellent BMS. It's rated for 35 amps. I got off of eBay for $15. The negative end of the battery pack there, 
goes to B minus, and then P minus goes to the negative on the uh, connector where the power is going to. And then the positive goes to the positive end of the battery pack. And also wired into this is another um, positive cable for the charging cable. This is the plus side of it. And then on the uh, negative side, which is C minus, is the negative um, end of the, uh, the charging port. So both of these goes to the charging port. Then we could disconnect the JSC connector to this end. And um, and that's it. That's how you hook up um, a BMS to a battery pack. It's pretty simple. Here's the battery pack. 10S 4P. It's BMS. I could have put the BMS on top of here, but um, I need it to be low profile to fit under this. So this was... Um, long enough to put the BMS right here. So, let's see if it fits. And this is a DIYE. It is right there. Perfect. It's perfect, goes like that. Beautiful. 437 watt hour battery pack. It's pretty large. Um, it's a um, 4P 10S or 10S 4P. Um, it's roughly about 12.8 um, amp hours. So this thing will run a skateboard probably over 30 miles per charge. So I can't wait to test it. Here I install an anti-static switch and an 8mm um, power charging port. This is an ABS plastic sheet that I cut to fit the um, battery enclosure and this will provide some waterproofing. Okay, this is what it looks like after I um, glued it down with uh, double adhesive tape. Um, this is near... Uh, completed battery pack all I do is just cut the opening out for the um, cabling this is what I use this is um, a 3 8 inch thick it's a, a sponge window seal and this thing is pretty um, Soft enough, but firm enough to um, give it some height. And so I put it all around. And with this one, what I did was, since the board is um, is concave, I just thin out the middle so it conforms to the board and it seals it properly. So that's what it looks like so far. Here I'm using 1024 threaded insert nuts and bolts. So this is what it looks like. Um, just dry fitting it. Yeah, it looks pretty good. The height there gives it a little bit more clearance between the board and the battery. Um, there we go. One of the motors back there. Looks really nice. Um, <clears throat> some um, foam insulation to protect this hole here. It seals out this piece here. And this one seals the whole battery. So this whole compartment, battery compartment, is nearly um, waterproof. I wouldn't say waterproof IP68, but maybe 65. You know, when you get a little bit of splash from water puddles, it'll definitely. Um, keep it dry all right here's the final product after drilling and screwing in the thread insert and um, securing the uh, bolts it's looking really nice I'm really happy with the um, the uh, weather stripping and the clearance uh, that it provides 
and it seals um, this thing up really tight so it's gonna offer uh, dust proof and water proof and I can't wait to get this thing on the road if you like this video don't forget to click the thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and thanks for watching